Hello everyone, and welcome back to Craft the World. If the mic sounds any different, like, especially if my voice sounds louder in comparison to the game, I was just making some adjustments in my Sound Blaster control panel. We get that uh, mic record volume all the way up to 100% because for some reason it was not at 100%. And I had the mic boost volume up really quite high, but then I know that there was also a, a other feature for a smart volume or something like that. I left it at its default setting. It's supposed to make it, it, it make you be heard more clearly without whispering or talking louder. So then I opened up Sims 4 to do a little test to see if I would still need to use the uh, boost or not and where I would need to have that at. So putting the mic boost at 10 decibels seemed to be the perfect spot for just sitting on the Sims 4 menu where music is just constantly playing. Found this little shadow creature, did ya? Yeah, because we didn't have a torch down there. So we are continuing to dig our way through here. I know watching me do this might not be super exciting, especially since, you know, I'm a new luck player, I'm not necessarily all that entertaining like other people you probably watch. But, you know, this is basically the game. You dig around looking for resources, you find these hidden rooms and throw the monsters in them. Unless that room has other tunnels, it looks like that one doesn't actually have one of the the portal guardian guys that will have our portal pieces that you need to collect and construct to move on to the next level. Sure, I can finish that dude. I'm gonna uh, take control of you to make this easier. Get a way for them to more quickly and easily be able to get between these levels. It's been like several weeks since I recorded the last session. I hadn't really felt much like playing, plus, you know, trying to play other games. The main one I've been playing recently, so I was trying to finally get it finished. But it was bravely default for the 3DS. Because I picked up the sequel, Bravely Second, and I hadn't finished the first game. So it's like I need to hurry up and get that finished so I can play the new game I got. actually technically finish it the other day. I uh, haven't like, fully completed it. It has multiple endings. And the one I did was the like, fake ending or false ending, whatever they call it. I'm gonna call it a false ending. Worked my way up to trying to get the true ending, but those last couple of boss battles sound rather annoying, especially because the final boss actually has five different forms, which is like, yeah, thanks, that's super annoying. I was looking in a walkthrough for that game, and it did say that after you beat the next to the last boss that you do get the opportunity 
to save before you take on the final boss, but then it's like, well, can you be a little more specific than that? Do I just get the save, or can I call my airship and hightail it out of there to restock on supplies and rest up so that everybody's full health, full magic? So I was just like, uh, this sounds really super duper annoying, guys. Uh, maybe I won't <laughs> get the true ending after all and just leave it at that and move on to the next game. And I was looking up what kind of things could transfer because there was a whole section on game facts where people were asking, well, what transfers from one game to the other? And it was like costumes and stuff, but apparently from what I read, from what people answered in the comment section that it's actually only in the Japanese version that those things even transfer over. So I was like, oh, well then I don't really have to give a damn about not getting the true ending. I can just... <clears throat> Worry about that and get it later. Why won't you put that there? What the frick? Oh, there was a frickin' mushroom. It did not look like there was a mushroom in there. It all makes sense now. Guess we'll make it go one more. Looks like what? This <clears throat> is the actual floor, so we need one more ladder. Alright, guys, get to work digging all that stuff out. Oh, joy, there's another worm guy. Whatever the hell you are. Oh, this looks like the goodest place is any to make our ladder since there's already a big hole right there. supposed to be. I'll punch the zombies in the face because they're stupidly annoying trying to break down our door. last recording session and recording in the middle of the night on a day when my mom watches my night so yeah that would be done and of course I also forgot a timer I'm just super prepared for this today huh got a guy making potions. Let's see where we're at here. We need master construction. Have I made iron doors? I think it was like just not 
put them out. Yes, I have. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't, like, just tell it to, like, replace it. You have to actually remove the doors and then place down the other one, which is a little unfortunate because as soon as you break down the door, it's like, oh my gosh, the house has been destroyed. Hiding there. Yes, yes, it's been destroyed. I realized this, but I was trying to make sure the other jerks had something constructive to do. So they won't stand idly around chit chatting. Oh, actually, someone won't let you do that anyway. Well, if one of you buttons would, you know, pick up that piece of dirt, I could fill that in. You wouldn't have to jump over it. Really? You can go pick that up on your way back? as well. Let's get rid of the wooden one. I was making it a little more difficult for monsters to break in to our house. It's always a good thing. Check out our guys. Here an archer, here have the bow. I have a lot of archers apparently. We have a bunch of silver boots, so let's find our warriors and give them those. Five more silver boots. Apparently I have an extra one. Oh, maybe the guy just made that one or something? I could have sworn I just equipped them all. Break, break down the rest of this stuff so we can get it back 
a little bit of nice resources. Especially in the case of the leather, that is quite important. So for that you have to wait on the spawns. These butter bucks. I just gave those guys just regular crappy little wooden bows, so. Yeah, we need two of these. Two silver picks, I mean. Who doesn't have them? I just made a couple extra. Whoops. <laughs> and still nobody picked up that zombie brain over there, even though I had the imps out. Where are you going, girl? Oh, there's stuff over here. It's kind of amusing that she just was like, oh, I'm gonna just sit here running into the store until you open it. So, it kind of seems like they probably do still have some odd uh, bugs in the game after that update. Because usually if you have those doors closed and the hatch is open, they'll just go up here and then climb down the damn wall. Everybody home and we'll put it back. One time speed. Um, excuse me guys. Oh shit. Our, our base comes all the way down here. I need to get... Another hatch put there. So it will stop considering all of that for the house. Put that wooden hatch there. I did not want the underground area to be considered part of my house. No, we're waiting. Yeah, they're up some of this water, guys. Sledding because it was moving. And it spawned over here. Oh, joy, we have one of those huge guys. <laughs> He's already swinging guys around. Look at him. Well, we're allowed to leave. Go ahead. Wonky. 
and the zombies are going to me. start getting multiple portals spawning, that's when things get a little tougher. Okay, everybody who needs it, go take your nap. They just didn't get any put up, or we didn't get too much of their rubbish tools, or their rubbish weapons, I mean. Everybody their silver boots and our couple of archers the better bow so we'll be more prepared for the next wave. Actually for now I'll keep those. Those are used for these towers so I mean they're not like the greatest defense they are very easily destroyed, and when we get more and more of the gargoyles, they'll fly over and attack those. something that was changed because the um I watched before they said or I think I'm gonna be using by that guy on Steam but that if you put this totem up here where your stockpile is it scares away these ghosts so they can't come in and actually throw the stuff out of your stockpile but because you just saw he totally did he did not give a damn at all about that. Hello, sheepy. What are you doing down here? Somebody put him out of his misery. to get trapped down there, you better climb your little ladder back up. Shit. You jerk. I put that dirt you just picked up right there. Thank you. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that worked. They're not 
usually that cooperative. place that wooden one we just put up because if they do end up breaking into our base which they will do when we get the bigger monster waves they will break down our doors and come on in and then they will go over here and start bashing on that and wooden ones do not exactly last very long I really do not want to make that switch because it needs all that crap I guess the next best thing is make a bunch of these. Yay! And we have a new task of railroad construction and master furnishing and expert cooking. Railroads in theory seem like they'd be useful, I have put them in my previous world, but I think they might have, like the elevators, I believe that in up a recent update they did actually make them so they'd be more useful because elevators were like really kind of crap. It's like in theory you think it'd be good because then you have an elevator that it will take them up and down instead of ladders so you can do it all more quickly but it just has like one like, car on it and then if there is an elevator in your game at all they will actually just queue up to use it they'll just be standing there waiting on the elevator and on my other game I was getting kind of annoyed by that because they like I like completely bugged out I even removed the elevator completely and my guys were still all standing in line waiting and you know if you selected that door if it would say that like, they were waiting for the elevator I'm like there is no elevator there what the fuck are you doing and of course with elevators you have to have this uh, just like this I did find that you could actually have a ladder in your elevator shaft and it would still work. Because elevator shafts are a bit dangerous because you just have this big long giant hole because they can go down I think like 45 levels or so. And if a dwarf falls down that shaft, <laughs> he is insta dead. Like he doesn't even have to be at the top. And he can still end up killing himself. So let's see, let's make a large oven which needs a pot. No, not that kind of pot. Hmm, looks like I don't have a bunch of leaf bugs I can get rid of. Looks like I have some decorative items I should really put down. Because we are not at 100% comfort. And that is something that is quite useful because I read, I think it was in the FAQ that somebody made on Steam. And so like the higher your comfort level, the quicker your dwarf's health recovers when they go to sleep. So it looks like we need upgrade some of these beds, some of these guys are still sleeping on leaves. And we can actually make an even better bed, so might as well start by making all of these that we can. 
And then we can replace these ones and upgrade these beds. Table with tablecloth because it acts, it gives us a place to put food and also increases comfort. Let's make a couple of those. Yeah, and you can make totems because the totem only goes it like goes up and down so many levels. I don't quite remember. It might have been like ten or eleven levels up and down. And then you need to place another totem and you can continue building. And well, we can make some wine barrels. We actually have quite a few barrels made. Let's make four of those, because then we place them in here and they will actually produce wine for us. And all dwarves love alcohol. Let's make some stew. And what else? We can make beer and we can make tea. We definitely want to make lots of beer. We will make all that we can. Then we need to make more barrels. Because beer is very good because it makes the dwarves move faster. And faster dwarves is always a good thing. Just want to make more barrels. We need to harvest and replant our wheat and kind of keep up on picking it and replanting it when it's ready. Since we need oodles of it for the beer. I couldn't quite remember where that was. Like, hey, nah. We should go ahead and make a little bit more. And have you made some of the beds yet? No, you have not. I yeah, think many tier beds are kind of cool. They are one of the new items that they added with that update. was <laughs> really big. Let's see, Get the higher comfort level stuff in. Can I put one of these up here? No, that is kind of dumb because it's like there's plenty of room right there to put a lamp. Sounds like really kind of weird sounding. Where exactly is that? Maybe these guys cooking? I bet it's for making the beer or something. Let's see, yes, we did make my tables. Oops. No, I didn't mean to click on the wheat. Put a couple of tables there and then 
And this table in front of the window here can be designated for a beer. Maybe a combination of food and wine once we start producing our wine. Can put up there. We need to find places that it will actually work with these. I'm gonna have to expand. Here. For now, I'll just play small right there. But that's probably that's not gonna stay like that. I'll have to get those guys working on expanding our base again. We have quite a bit of stone wall, so we might as well use that. Snail just won't fall into the walls. Okay, let's see. Our beer table. You don't need to go outside. No, we did end up with some other weapons that are. Upgrading there. Oh, there was still somebody out there. Speed that up a bit. I'll pick up some of this water. Oh, actually, I wanted the water. Whatever. Let's see, let's remove these. We'll put down that big one and put the smaller ones. Different spot. Yeah, that really kind of produce. Okay, go away. That's one really annoying thing about that is you can move your screen, but those messages really take quite a while to actually decide they're gonna go away, and then you can't click through them. It for our stone walls, but we have these that are stronger. We might actually remove some of these, use that as the background because I don't think that they even actually attack the black ground blocks. I've never noticed them do that anyway. 
seriously. That is really dumb. Okay, I guess we're gonna put those back. Space. I mean, not that we need it, I think it gave comfort in it. No, I guess it doesn't need any. What's, what's the point of that? Because you don't actually need it to... Let me play some of these lower ones. Places where the mobs will be attacking first. And that I guess they can attack all they want, but let's place these. Let's replace the, the rear one. So it's that's not exactly what I had in mind. I wanted you to replace the outer wall. So let's re replace these brick walls. Oh my god. <laughs> so remove the wooden walls. Seriously, get rid of that fucking bed then. I had to go walk in there so I can't flip that anymore. I don't have any more of those. 
I believe you can still use it to flip it, yeah. It's always weird to see those snails falling through my floor. First wine. Let's see. We no longer need that, but it does have the strongest durability. that in guys. Did you guys get those made? Yes, you did. Let's see, we have 11 dwarves. And we do- oh, we have two bottles of wine now. We're, we're moving up in the world, guys. Here, have some wine. Make sure your beer table's full. Jerk, stop throwing my stuff. Guys, there's there's a leaf out here. There. Now you can get to it. if he doesn't have his bed to go sleep in when he gets hurt. Let's see if somebody puts that in. I'll remove this hatch because this hatch is what makes this keep saying that this is not part of the house because there's a door there. That was something I was mistakenly doing in my very first game. I was at each one of these levels I was putting a hatch. And so that was making the designation for the house really really wonky and it wouldn't go up as high as what it's supposed to. So now we can remove this hatch. And then we want to get the ladders put in place. And we'll bust 
out there so we can move the hatch up because it is definitely nice to allow them to get onto the roof for cases like this because there's water up there. So we can gather that. And because of the fact that the gargoyles will fly up to the top so they can walk, but they might not go up there if you actually don't have a hatch up there. Well, this is going to be kind of an extra long episode, especially since I didn't start my timer right away, but we are going to leave it up there. Pick back up next time with continuing to work on our house a bit more, getting our upgrades, work more on, on the tech tree. So, I'll see you guys next time.